everyone, welcome to another episode of Adulted. This episode, we are going to be tackling the subject of working out and taking care of our bodies. <laughs> My friend Greer, who is an actress and former Golden Globe girl, has the problem of finding time to work out during her busy schedule. So I'm gonna call up an expert. I think I know just who I'm gonna call for this one. I think she's gonna be able to help Greer find out how she can work out and eat healthy on the go. Let's get started. So I want to officially introduce our expert for today. Natalie Flowers is a muscle and mindset coach and she is going to kick our butts today. Yeah. <laughs> On so many levels. Yeah. Great. <laughs> so Greer, do you want to share a little bit about what your goals are with Natalie? Yeah, so I'm an actress um, and I travel all the time. I'm staying in hotels, just mm. constantly on the go. So I want to know what kind of exercises I can do there. Also like, when I'm working, we're on set 14 hours a day, sometimes even yeah. more than that. And it's like always go, go, go. So like what are exercises I can do in my trailer that are simple but effective. Right. Um, also, you know, on set, it's like you have everything that you could ever want oh to Oh my gosh, eat. I can imagine. So it's like, how do, I, how do I stay in the mindset of not reaching for the donut and not reaching for the Diet Coke, which I'm obsessed with, <laughs> and staying like healthy and on that, like, on that mind track. Yeah. Those are kind of the things that I, I want to know. Awesome. Let's do it. Yeah. Are you ready or are you scared? I don't know. <laughs> Both. Both. All right, let's go. <laughs> All right, we got plates, we got bands, we got other rubber bands. What are we doing? <laughs> <laughs> it's like, I'm a little scared. What is going on? All right, so you had said that you're on the go a lot. And so I had brought some things that I even use when I'm on the go a lot when I go to hotel rooms or whatever and I'm traveling. Another thing is, I think a lot of my clients, they want something that you're still using resistance, mm -hmm. but you don't have access to go to the gym to go to, you know, use the cables, use the weight room. So I brought some things here. I also bought paper plates. You can actually get legit slider plates, which is a real thing, but I'm gonna show you how to use plates to build your booty instead of putting donuts on top of those things, <laughs> okay? So um, I'm gonna just kind of give you an overall workout that I'm gonna just kind of walk you through. All right, so the booty, we're gonna start with that first. There's three muscles to the booty, okay? You got the lower, you got the middle, and you got the upper. And I had to learn this when I did my bikini competition. I forgot that you did that. Yeah, it was awesome. It was amazing. And also, it was um, one of the most nerve wracking things I've ever done because you're in this little like thong thing and you gotta stick your butt out. So I just made sure that mine looked good. So I'm going to teach you how to make yours look good. So we're gonna start with these plates. Everybody has paper plates. And I'm all about not having excuses. You can't have excuses. And I'm now giving you no excuse. So you wanna start with this. So we'll grab a paper plate, okay. do one leg, and you're gonna slide out, okay? And then when you come in, you're actually not using this leg, you're using the one that's stabilized. So when you slide out and you come in, you wanna tighten. This works the lower part of the booty. And we're gonna work our way up. Another thing you can do with plates is the little side part of the butt. This is the part that every woman hates. I think we all get that like junk on the trunk that's on the sides and we hate it. So we're gonna get rid of that. So you're gonna slide out like this. Once again, you're using this leg to stabilize. So as soon as you come in, you tighten it, you can feel it. So what we're first gonna do is you're gonna slide back. And remember, this is the stabilizing leg, so this is the cheek you're, right there. Okay. Those are the cheeks you're working. Okay. One, two, three, go! Tighten. Look, she's got a, she's got a little gun. I know, I, she's I, firing. I, I, I don't know why oh, no. that happens, it always does that. Okay, now slide to the side. Okay. Same leg, you're stabilizing. And right here. Yep. Feel it? Yep. <laughs> So we gotta, we, gotta, we gotta close out the booty, okay? okay? So we gotta work the upper. This is the closer. So you're gonna come over here, and you're going to take this leg, and what you're gonna do is you're gonna work this full muscle right here. So you're gonna come up, tighten, and over. Lift it, lift it, lift. There you go. Nice. All right, there's your booty. Well, at least one cheek. So we're gonna yeah. work the other cheek. <laughs> now I'm gonna show you how to continue to use these plates. 
and we're gonna build an upper body, and this is one of my favorites. Like I said, no one wants the double flap, right? Mm -hmm. Nobody wants that. So I'm gonna show you how you can use these plates to work your tricep. You can work your tricep. I can also work your shoulders, and then working the back. So you're gonna come out, and to work your triceps, you can do one hand or you can do double. We'll do one hand, because I think it's gonna be easier for you guys. Come out like this, and you're gonna slide, pulling from here, the tricep, in and out. In and out. You're gonna slide out to finish it off. So what I like to do is three sets of 12. So you'll do three sets of 12 sliding out like this, and then three sets of 12 like this. Like you're gonna do a push-up, right? Yep, so this is gonna stabilize you. And then you're gonna pull from the tricep, right in here. Okay, feel it? Yep. Tighten your abs at the same time. Yep, that's how it is. Swipe it. Keep the abs tight. Do you guys feel it? Yep. See? Paper plates are your friend. All right, next thing that we can do, I'm gonna show you guys some resistant bands. And like I said, this, these bands you can take on the go. What's great about these bands is they're color coordinated for you to understand. So yellow means not for you, losers. Because that's light and you don't need to be doing yellow. You need to work, you can do green. Green is go time. Red is it's getting rough. Black is Lord Jesus help us all, we gotta go home. So you take these little things and these are awesome because you can attach them to anything. So where can we get these bands? You can get them on Amazon for like less than 20 bucks. Tribe Fitness bands are my favorite because you get these bands, you get these really fun attachments to it, and you also get these little other bands. So I'm gonna show you guys how to do biceps. So what you're gonna do, you can do this literally on the go, right? So what you're gonna do is you're gonna put your foot here, and as you go slide it further down, it creates more resistance, okay? okay? So you can even do it like as you get stronger, you can do one arm or you can do both. I would say for right now, do both and keep it just kind of in the middle. You come out, this builds the bicep right here. Oh, like this. The last part is this side. Do you come out and do the same thing? Just like this, super easy. If you don't have the attachments with you, mm -hmm. you actually don't even need the attachments, you just need to hold the bands. Okay. And you can come up like this. All right, okay. So, so the green is mine. Green, you can do green. We'll put you on red, we'll put you on okay. red. Put you on red. She gave you the harder band, Greer, so I think she believes in you I do. more. Okay. <laughs> like if you're putting your elbow to your hip mm -hmm. and then extend it out, and now. Yep. Look, she's on the burn. Bam, she's on red too. Ooh. <laughs> killing it, Greer. She's killing it. <laughs> Actually, a switch. You need to see. What yeah. <laughs> you need to see the red. Oh, I, I, I saw it from over here. I'd love to try some green. Now. Right? <laughs> try green. You home. try red. <laughs> red is red a, red's a little more challenging. <laughs> I didn't remember to breathe. So now we know that with some paper plates and some bands, you can work out anywhere in the world. Yep. No more excuses. No more excuses. Got the excuses out. So I know another huge part about what you teach is not just about, you know, working out the body's great, but what you're putting in the body. Yeah. So let's head on over to the kitchen and let's talk about nutrition. All right, come on in. I already had it all, I have it all set up, ready to go. We are ready. I literally have mastered the skill of meal prepping. And I think a lot of times when we think of meal prepping, we're like, oh my gosh, it sounds so sounds like. Scary. Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> a lot of times we're on the go, right? Everybody's on the go and you had already mentioned that you're on the go. A lot of my clients are on the go. And what we tend to do is we grab, we get home, we're super hungry, so we grab whatever is easy and convenient, right? If you plan ahead and you make it convenient already for yourself, or you've already placed it in your mind, when I get to that place, I'm not gonna eat that food because I already have my food in advance. We just don't set ourselves up for success because we don't prepare. So I'm gonna teach you guys just some things that you can do. And my kind of rule of thumb is to not get bored, is to get, three starches, something that's a slow digestive carb, which is basically anything that's not white, okay? So don't think white rice, don't think white potatoes, think color. Okay. Color in your life. The next thing is three proteins, okay? So three lean proteins, and I always cook either turkey meat, chicken, um, you can do salmon. Salmon you just put on foil, you put it in the oven, that's it. So three proteins, three starches, three veggies. What you guys can do is literally, you can take all of your vegetables and place it on the tray. So I have three Fs, okay? 
you need foil. Foil makes it way easier than if you had to spray this, clean that. 400 is the best roasting on the oven. You need your foil, you need a nice cooking tray, and you need food, and that's it. And this will help you, if, once it's all cooked, and then you put them in little containers, it's just, you got, you know, you can take it and go. Speaking of going, so this is Fit Bag, which I love. It's the best. And then you have your little, it comes with these little containers. What you can do is you're gonna take all of these little foods, and you can put it in one of these, and you have a fun meal prep bag. Th here's the thing, when people look at you and go, what, a meal prep bag? Like, what is that? You'd be like, listen, the leanest people in the world, meal prep, that's what's up. Now you wanna, when you want a really adult adult, you start weighing your food. Oh, dang. Wow. You can get this on Amazon, it is awesome. It's a little, just a little scale, and it weighs all your food. Yeah. This is next level. But what we're gonna start with is hands. So, here's the handshake, okay? Two hands. Okay. This is your veggies. That will be on your plate. Two veggies. Two veggies. That's the portion control. So, so like for broccoli, much, so a little bit of broccoli, a little bit of what well, broccoli, okay? okay? Two hands, look at your hands. That's about how much you need of greens. Think salad, think asparagus, okay. bundles of broccoli. Okay, one hand, one hand. This is your protein, okay? okay. So that's about four ounces. Think, okay, salmon, think chicken breast, mm -hmm. right? Okay, <laughs> fist pump. That's your starch. Okay. That's gonna be your butternut squash, your sweet potatoes, your oats, okay. fist pump. This is your starch, okay? All right, thumbs up. That little bit, that's so much fat. Wow. So you're gonna get your fat so like right in now, like your meat. Like, yeah. A lot of times you're gonna get your fat in your meat, you will. Um, but a lot of times what you'll find is a lot of people will, like especially like on pancakes or whatever, people will slap on the peanut butter or whatever. Yo. I'm so guilty of this, like peanut butter on toast yeah. with yeah. banana is like my favorite thing ever. Yeah. So what I did to like, just to see, I actually did, like I took a piece of toast and I spread out how much I approximately would ever, would always do. And then I scooped it all off and I put it in tablespoons and it equaled five tablespoons, you guys. Five tablespoons. Wow. That's how much I spend on every morning. So. <laughs> to review. Review. Greens, protein, Starch. Yep. And fat. 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 <laughs> and one of the biggest things that I found with my clients when it comes to clean eating, you know, we did the exercise, right? And we did, we did, we've, you know, we've learned how to meal prep. But all of this, what I found is it really does not continue as a lifestyle until you fix the mindset. And we all have this script, right? We all have these things going on in our head. We all have these things that we've put in our mind to believe about ourselves. And a lot of my clients, you know, they were always the fat kid or, you know, they were always the person that, you know, didn't do well in school. And so they lived that script, like I am not of worth or I am always gonna be overweight. But then you begin to walk that out, right? You begin to walk out that truth because you've put in your mind like, well, I'm always gonna be overweight. So a lot of my clients, like they'll lose weight and then they'll go right back to being that overweight person because they never addressed it in their mind. What I've learned too, is we actually have over 70,000 thoughts a day, which is insane. And over 80% is always the same. It's always the same thoughts every day. Okay, get up, gotta this, 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 this. But get this, over 90% are negative. Over 90% are negative. I believe that too. Right? Honestly, like a goal for myself this year is I find myself constantly just telling myself these little things like, Oh, like I don't like this about me or, you know, mm -hmm. I did something, just, you know, something dumb, like I tripped over something like, oh, I'm so stupid. Just, I'm always mm -hmm. like telling myself these little things and then you don't realize that over time, just saying one little thing here and there just builds up over time and it totally. just totally shifts. You have to rewrite the script. Mm -hmm. So you have to change the thoughts. So what's cool is that when you become self-aware like that about your thoughts, you actually begin to take those captive and, and then you reverse it. And then what happens is that those thoughts, right, that are repetitive, are now repetitive in a positive direction. And then all of a sudden you're like, wow, my life looks so different now than it did last year. And it all started with your thoughts. Yeah. Okay, so I have a cool, I always have little fun systems, right? Okay. So four Fs for your mind. Is first, it's your faith. It's whatever you believe, it's whatever you put in your mind. Then it's gonna be your focus. It's gonna be the thing that you focus on. It's gonna be the thing that you begin to walk out because you've put whatever you put in your mind, that's what you begin to see. And then whatever you begin to see is magnified. 
And then you begin to walk that out with your feet. So your feet, you begin to walk out that focus. Whatever your focus is on, that's what you're gonna walk out. And then that becomes your future. But it all comes back to what you put in your mind, to what you've put in your belief system about yourself. And then, now when it comes to eating healthy, it's not about I'm eating healthy because I'm going on a diet and I need to lose fat because I'm so fat. It's I am eating this to fuel my body because I value myself. So I would just encourage you, every time that you look in the mirror in the morning, like say five things that are positive about yourself. You both, you have a purpose. You have unique gifts that you all, yet you both have that nobody else has. And so to just be able to speak that over yourself, then all of this flows right in. This all becomes easy. None of this matters without having without this. Without the mind. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Natalie, thank you so much. Yeah, it was so this fun having you guys been over. Amazing. It's so fun. <laughs> We're gonna do it again. Yes. Yes. Guru, I hope that you learned something that you can apply to your everyday life and when you're on the go. Oh my God, I learned so much, <laughs> so much. Like I can't wait to do all of that in my trailer and I can't yes. wait to like actually meal prep so that I have healthy foods. Well, I think it's safe to say that we came, we saw, we adulted. Bam! <laughs> Y'all, what an episode that was. I have to admit, I was a little scared going into it myself. So it was nice to be able to kind of step out of my comfort zone and see things that I can apply whenever I'm on the go and whenever I'm traveling. As always, we're gonna wrap things up with some of my favorite things that we learned along the way. Number one, it doesn't take weights to get the workout that you want. We learned today that resistance bands and some paper plates can get you the workout that you want and the booty that you want. <laughs> uh, number two, I love the high five method. I believe that's what Natalie called it. A little hand method right here. This is how much of your greens that you want to eat right here. This is how much of your proteins, your starches. And then this little guy, oh, there's a big fuzz on my thumb from my sweater. This little guy, that's how much you want in fats. Number three, mindset. It is so, so important to have your mindset in the right place. Why are you wanting to eat healthier? Why are you wanting to work out? You should be doing it because you care about yourself, because you love yourself, and you want to take care of your body. Not because you're trying to punish yourself for some cookies that you enjoyed. We've all been there. So make sure that your mindset is in the right place, that you're doing it for the right reasons. I'm so glad that Natalie touched on this subject because I think that it is so important. All right, you guys, thank you so much for checking out today's episode. We will see you guys next time on Adulted. Genius. <laughs>